Hey, how's it going everybody? Ryan here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. As you can see, it is a gorgeous evening here on our Northern Hemisphere Island, and I want to finally do something that I've kind of been meaning to do for the last four days. So as most of you already know, this year we get another May Day maze featuring our wonderful NPC friend Rover. And luckily this year's maze is different from the one last year. So it's not simply like repeating the exact same steps. I do believe that the reward for this is a photo of Rover. At least that's kind of what I've been seeing on Twitter and, uh, and YouTube. And speaking of things that I've seen on YouTube and Twitter, I have seen that a lot of people have said that this maze is uh, is pretty hard. I think there are people that I've seen say that they need to use like, I don't know, like nine ticket vouchers, whatever that means. So I think they just have to like go back in and repeat the whole maze again. Cause they like, I think it's because like a step was messed up at one point. Um, so it sounds like it might be a little bit harder than last year's maze. So I'm kind of excited to check it out finally and see if it, if it actually is as hard as people are saying it is. All right, we just need a Mayday ticket to take to the airport. And uh, okay, we can use it anytime through May 7th. So I think maybe what you can do is go back to uh, back to your island and then just uh, come back and then do it all over again and start over from the very beginning. Uh, so I think I, I think I just got it. I really wasn't paying attention. Um, let's head to the airport and see if I have it now. <laughs> yep, there it is. Got a Mayday ticket from Tom Nook with Ryan written on it, which makes it mine. Cool. Where did you want to go? I want to use my Mayday ticket and I want to see what all the fuss is about. For this tour, you'll have to go empty handed. We'll hold on to all your belongings at the counter. Okay, I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's the same as last. Yeah, because you have to get all the tools and stuff while you're there, so... Yep, I'm good to go. Time for takeoff. Let's go. Over the last year or so, I've been participating in quite a few of the Crunchy Island, Full Island uh, maze races. So those have been really fun. And yeah, I don't know, maybe I can use some of that experience here. Uh, but regardless, I'm ex always excited to participate in events like this. If you get stuck or grounded or lost in a fog bank or whatever, just hail the rescue service on your phone. They will reset things so you can refuel. Okay, so you just uh, you start over from the beginning that way. Cool. I think that was the same as last year as well. You can tell how much I remember um, just from this. <laughs> Alright, so this seems very familiar. Uh, I already see a cherry up here. There's a shovel. Um, I would wager to say that it's probably not this easy, but we'll go ahead and grab our cherry here. There we go. Um, and then we'll just lift this tree up. All right, so what do we have in front of us? We have two wood coming over here to the right. Okay, so this is a little bit more elaborate than last year's maze. Um, last year's maze seemed pretty straightforward, but this one, I can tell there's a, a lot more work put into it. Well, I guess quite simply, we'll grab as much as we can without doing anything, and then we'll start kind of evaluating our position and then go from there. So let's grab the cherries. Let's grab this wood. Let's lift this bush up and see. I see a DIY card over there. Uh, if it's anything like last year, I think this is simply a DIY card for those who don't know the recipe for it. So in the off chance that this is like your first day with the game, they make sure that you have all the tools necessary, which is always appreciated. Uh, so looking behind there, I do see a hole that goes across to that soft wood, which then can be used to remove that tree to get more cherries. So it's almost like, it's almost like you trade one cherry for two, which is a, a pretty decent trade off. Let's go ahead and do that. And of course it looks like we're going to need a crafting bench to, uh, to get up to whatever that tool is. So we'll eat another cherry. We'll get rid of this rock and we'll go grab those other two cherries. You know, I don't remember too much of the maze last year. Um, obviously. <laughs> um, oh no, what was I thinking? It's trade two cherries for two cherries. So it's a net of zero cherries, but two softwood. Okay. Uh, that sounds about right. Um, but yeah, I, I can already tell like this is a like way more elaborate than, than last year's, which, uh, which is awesome. Two cherries. I remember not grabbing those, uh, vouchers last year. I, I, I can't remember exactly what those are for. I didn't think it was that important. Um, so if I get them, great. What do I need? I think I need three fruit to break those. Yep. So three fruit. If I want to grab those, we'll see if we get there. Oh, here's a crafting bench already. So I cannot craft a ladder. I need two more wood, four hardwood, and one more softwood. Okay. So uh, the only thing that I read from that was uh, keep on going. <laughs> so in order to get those three cherries, I need three cherries because I need one to break this rock and two to lift up those trees. And then it looks like the cherries 
possibly lead to a direction to the right. Okay. Well, I only have two cherries currently, so I'm going to leave that section for now, but we will keep that in mind. In the meantime, let's go and get rid of this rock here. It looks like there is a cherry to exchange on the other side. You can actually already see Rover in the, uh, in the background there at the very top, kind of sitting on that second story, which is awesome. Okay, what's going on over here? I uh, can't see past this. Okay, uh, interesting. So there's a hedge wall that's blocking this direction here. And in order to get it, you need to remove this tree. Uh, two cherries will remove this tree and this one. And it looks like you do get one over there. So let's go ahead and do this. And we'll go ahead and eat the second one just because we know we're going to lift up that other tree here in a moment. Grab these, hop across, lift this up. All right, cherry, wood, wood. And so now we only need two more hardwood and one more softwood. I think the softwood is down here. Yep, it is. Oh, wait, I don't go this way. I go down and then I go across. Here we go. And then, do I have any more cherries? I do. I have one cherry to lift this tree up here. And certainly there's no way that's it because I don't have a ladder, so I have to get up there. I'm tempted to say that I need to do this. You know what? We have the ability to retry it. Let's go ahead and eat this and lift this tree up. Oh, what was I think? Oh, wait, no. I was going to say I can't get past there. Then I forgot that I can, <laughs> I can get rid of that one. Can I go around? You cannot go around. All right, so what's down here? Anything down here? Okay, so this actually takes you back to the beginning of the uh, of the map here. I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't think I can craft this yet, can I? No, I still need two more hardwood. Where did I miss hardwood? Uh, so this whole side is empty. I just came from there. We go across here. I can't make a ladder yet. There's the hardwood. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have another cherry? Oh, <gasps> no, I don't. Uh, it looks like we're starting over. <laughs> I remember not having to, uh, not having to do the maze more than once, uh, on, on, on last year's maze. So already, uh, great job, Nintendo, for, for making a pretty elaborate maze. I can see why people had to start over. Do you get restuck? Yep. Use rescue services. Sounds good. All right. So we know everything we've done up until that point, I would say is pretty, uh, pretty spot on. It's more about saving that last, uh, that last cherry until the very end. So you can use the ladder to climb up on. Uh, but until that point, what the heck? <laughs> until that point, uh, get all the materials as much as you can. And then that last section is where you want to be. So, uh, we'll just go through this whole thing again. I got four wood, four softwood and two hardwood. This will bring up to four hardwood. And, uh, then there we go. All right, ladder created, good to go. So you just take the ladder and you go up here and you grab this. Wait, what is this? A, oh, an ax, cool. All right, so then simply enough, you just come up here to these trees and uh, we are gonna go ahead and chop them down. For some reason, wait. What just happened? Wait, hold on, what do I do? <laughs> that was the... That was the plan. That was the whole plan. Oh my goodness. You're supposed to use the axe to chop down that tree and then you hop across it and then use the ladder to go up the rover. Or you could chop down this tree here to get more fruit to then go back to the beginning and then, okay, no, that wouldn't make any sense because then how would you, okay, I don't know. All I know is that I messed up again. <laughs> yes. Yes. Operator. I, uh, I, I, here's another hundred miles. I'm in a predicament. Get me out of here, please. All right, Wilbur. Let's, uh, let's try this for the third time. I don't know why I keep picking up the DIY. It doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> so before we chop a tree down, because now we know that this axe only has one use, let's, uh, let's take a look around and see really quick what we have to work with. So over here, we have two cherries that are also being blocked by a bush. So if we were to run to the right, and chop this down with a uh, with the axe. We then lose our axe. We get two cherries. We get to remove this bush and come down here. So at this point, we've lost our axe and we have two cherries. We come up here with our two cherries and we use our shovel, which I don't even know how many uses it has. It should be enough to uh, to remove these trees. Come up here 
and get uh, three more cherries. At this point, you can use one of your cherries to lift up that tree. So at this point, you will have two cherries left over and the ladder to go up to Rover. Okay, now this is all under the assumption that the ladder doesn't break. You know, against better judgment, I'm going to say that Nintendo wasn't that cruel and won't break my shovel after what is going to be, what, uh, three, four uses total? Yeah, let's just, let's just do it and see what happens. So there goes our axe. And using our trusty ladder, we will come right up here, pick up these two cherries. And like I said before, we'll remove this and then climb on down. Okay, and with our two cherries that we are going to eat, we will, oops, uh, we'll move these trees. We'll get three cherries. We'll come back down. We'll use one of those cherries to dig up the tree that goes to Rover. And uh, that will take care of Rover's portion of the maze, I hope. Please don't break. All right. <laughs> That's one tree down. Can I, like, sneak through here? Nope. Uh, so two. And all right. Good to go. Cool. So now we'll come up here and get our cherries. Very well done, Maze. I have to say, like I said before, uh, I think this is better than last year's. I uh, admittedly, I had a feeling I was going to have to go through it one time uh, and then start over. Did not think I was going to have to go through it uh, three times total. And then with one of our cherries... We will dig this tree up right here like so. And hey, there you go. Now we have access to Rover uh, sitting on top of a wonderful heart-shaped uh, <laughs> dirt pattern. And then uh, we'll head all the way back around to the beginning and see uh, see if we can get the other vouchers. Hello, Rover, my friend. It has been a while. What are the chances we meet like this again? Oh, that's awesome that he kind of remembers you. So I don't know if this happens if you didn't do the maze last year. Probably not. It's been a while, hasn't it? How have you been doing? I've been doing, doing great. It's been tough. Uh, kind of both. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say I'm doing great, though. Glass half uh, glass half full. Really glad to hear that. It makes me think we'll both still be smiling next time we run into each other. All right. Yep. So <laughs> see you in 2022. I think I'm going to write you a letter later. I don't think I kept Rover's letter from last year if he wrote one. He probably did. I probably don't have it anymore. Oh, wait. Is that it? Oh, that's it. Oh, you know what? His thing probably comes uh, in the letter. I, I don't think... Uh, I don't think... I think he just gave us the briefcase from last year. Uh, can I sneak around here? Is this how I get down? What if I put out your fire? Does that do anything? No? Uh, okay, so then... Oh, I see. I was supposed to go over here, but now he's blocking the way. So I'll just wait for... Uh, I'll just wait for my turn. Okay, that, that took a while. <laughs> All right, so we'll come down this way, and then we'll use our shovel to remove this. And that gets us these vouchers here. Does anybody actually buy bell vouchers from resident services? <laughs> if you do, let me know. I would love to know why. Especially if you've owned this game for a long time, but just cannot see that being a good idea. They just don't give you that many. And actually, yeah, that'll do it. The, these are the three cherries that we use to break all three rocks that uh, lead to the, I think, five vouchers. Yep, this way. We'll just eat all three. And we'll break all three. And then here are the five other bell vouchers. So uh, I think that pretty much does it. Uh, I did not look up anything about this maze before I did it. Uh, so I went in completely blind for this one uh, to give myself, you know, as much of a, a like an authentic experience as possible. And I have to say, Nintendo, wonderful job on this maze. Um, you know, I've, I've mentioned it a few times already in this video. I cannot remember for the life of me what the last one was like, but... Uh, from what I do remember, I can't say that I had to go through it. What the heck? There we go. I don't think I had to go through it more than one time, and I certainly don't think it was as elaborate as this. Um, obviously, I might be misremembering, though, so there's a chance that it was. Uh, but regardless, um, yeah, this one was actually really, really fun. And I don't... Well, I can't go that way anymore, so there's that. I know my inventory is an absolute disaster right now. It's... Uh, it's awful. Oh my god. What the heck was this? Oh, I was supposed to gift this to someone who was... This is one of those things where a villager was like, Hey, we got into a fight, and can you give them this gift to show them that I'm sorry? And I forgot to do that, and now it's in my inventory. Oh my gosh, it's shooting stars as well. I have not had shooting stars in a while. It's been a while since I've had to do that. That's awesome. Well, overall, like I said at the end of the maze, uh, very well done. Uh, I have participated in quite a few full island mazes at this point. And uh, even though what, what we just did wasn't necessarily as complicated as those ones, 
you know, for Nintendo just giving everybody the ability to participate in a maze like that. It was very well done. It was just the right level of, uh, of complexity that, you know, I'm, I'm going to assume most people had to go through it two times. Um, if you didn't go, have to go through it two times, even without looking up any information, uh, you know, well done. Good for you. I came up here because I thought they were going to be shooting stars. Um, I guess there's not. I'll, I'm going to sit up here and, and wait for some anyway. But uh, yeah, hopefully some show up before the end of the video. Yeah, I don't... I don't think any are showing up. 